All right, hello everybody. Once again, my name is David. Here's another bear log video. Um, this one is on a sequence detector. This one is going to detect a 101 sequence. I'll just keep it simple. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use um, three D flip flops and then instantiate them, check their values. You can also use a state machine, or you can do it this way, which is using a simple shift register. So here is the module. I call it seek debt under or seek underscore debt underscore 101. So I have an input of a clock, a reset, the serial in data, and the detected 101 out. Since 101 is three bits, I'll create a three bit register called seek reg. And then here's the logic. So after, always at positive clock or positive reset. If reset, we'll set the seek register equal to zero, else we will shift it. So this is the concatenation with the curly braces. So we will take the two least significant bits of the seek reg and make them the two most significant bits. And the serial in data, um, our serial in bit will be the least significant bit. So we're shifting them left. And then we'll use an assigned statement. This is a conditional statement. So detected 101 when seek reg is equal to three bits of binary 101 it will output the one otherwise it will output zero here's the test bench for the simulation create registers for each of the inputs and a wire for the output i create an integer i i'm going to use in a for loop down here create a 16-bit register of data I just fill it with a bunch of arbitrary data, making sure that I have a few 101s in there so we can detect. Here's instantiating the module, the module under test. I name it SD. This is the naming convention. So since all the names are the same, they just go in the parentheses there. Um, here I create the clock. So we have a clock of um, period of four simulation ticks. Every two ticks, we will go not clock. Here, I initialize all the registers. Initialize clock to zero. We're going to start it off at reset. Serial in is zero. Also, initialize integer i to zero. And after nine ticks, we'll let let it go. Let reset. So we'll this will happen when reset happens. It's it's um, when it's turned off. It'll be right before a pause edge clock. So then we can start with our serial in. For the for loop, start i equal to zero if it's less than 16, because we're going to go to zero to 15. i equals i plus one, standard for loop. So the serial in data, or the serial in register is going to be an index of data. So it'll start off at data i, one, two, three, four, and so on. Then after that um, one period of the clock, we'll finish. I already ran the simulation, and uh, here it is. So here's our clock at the top. Here's our reset. So right here after nine ticks, we let it go. And our serial in data. So we start in the, here's where the for loop starts. So we have a one, zero, one. And at this pause edge clock, detected goes high. Another one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. Detected goes high again here. Zero, zero. One zero one detected goes high again here. I'll take you back to the code so you can check it out. And there you have it, simple 101 sequence detector in Verilog. Thanks for watching.